Alright hey everyone, um, I'm going to be doing another video today on um, your Minecraft server. So let's imagine here that you have your own server ready. Um, a lot of people sometimes wonder when they want their friend to join. Um, when the friend tries to log in it will say you are not whitelisted on the server or you don't have OP on the server. Today I'm going to be showing you how to whitelist your friend or possible um, people trying to join your server. So you open up your uh, Minecraft server. Most of the things in here come with the uh, original file downloaded from Minecraft.com except for these two which I named and everything. All right. Um, you open up a uh, server and you'll see um, this basically tells you all the loading chunk errors, savings, um, information like how when you change the game from survival to creative. It's good to know if you need to check back on some of the uh, things that you've done recently. Um, and then you go, you can go to a server with um, a, a, a different icon. It's like a notepad icon. Um, when you open that up, it gives you um, your uh, server properties. Um, it gives you the options to allow nether, um, usually you would want that true. It gives you a level name, you can name it anything you want. Um, enable qu uh, query, usually uh, you would want to keep that false because that allows uh, all the people to start using different things in your server. Uh, flight, um, that means anyone in your server can fly without having mod um, permission, which is not, I don't know, I don't, I don't usually use that. Uh, level C, you usually use blank. Um, actually, I don't even know what enable archon is, so I'm just, it came uh, false, so I'm going to leave it like that. Level type default, that's the uh, default level that Minecraft is originally, when you play in a survival game, single player. Um, over here, actually, I just want to point this out. Um, texture pack, you can change, originally it comes with nothing here, but if you want, when, when, they start, when the new player starts up the server that you have, it'll come up saying... Do you want to um, do you want to uh, use this certain texture pack, and then it'll give you the option to download it, which is actually uh, really helpful. Um, the uh, PvP, which makes player versus player in in multiplayer uh, options available. Um, max players, you could change the amount, but um, to have more than five players, you would have to have your own verified private server which does cost money per month um... spawn monsters true you want to have mob spawn um... generate structures it creates mountains it creates the um... villages with villages inside it creates uh... desert temples uh... jungle temples and everything like that and it gives you I have a motto you could put um... spawn protection sixteen seconds of when you spawn you can't die and um... view distance it tells you how far with your um... pointer in the middle of your screen that you could break a block, so I could break a block 10 uh, blocks away from me. Difficulty, you usually want to keep it at 1, that's like the difficulty of, um, it goes from uh, easy, medium, hard, and then hardcore, which is when you die, you only have a certain amount of lives. Um, these are all the options uh, that you would be able to have available to you. And then also, when you're when you create the server, you can have the option to ban people that you don't want joining and you can have the option to um, ban the player and also ban their IP so that they can never join back um, I think I have yeah I got um, uh, at one point some person joined the server and banned one of my friends and, and then I banned him and then um uh, we have over here when you open it up and you click on Minecraft server it loads the world and prepares the area for when you join and if you type in um help gives you options and then it says up here help 
page one of five. So you can do help two, um, help three, help four, and help five. And all of these are active when you start when you join. Um, you could pick who is a uh, mod OP and stuff like that. You could cho choose the spawn point of when people join the game where they spawn. Usually, you would want to spawn in an area safe away from mobs. And um, that's really all you need to know about that. And yeah, thanks for watching.